sir. When I have to start, I don't know. Respected, respected Vice Chairman. This is my first speech. It may not be made in. I, how much time do I have, sir? Five minutes. Okay. Five well, I'm minutes, not a politician, madam. and I do not know how to talk English. for, against, none, neither of them. I have been chosen by the, nominated by President of India. I am really grateful to her and, of course, our Prime Minister, who announced my name on 8th of March, which is the Women's Day, as a Nari Shakti. I have always worked for poor, and I am always on the field. So my experience is entirely different than both sides of the house. I have given only five minutes and being a teacher, for me, five minutes is an extremely small slot. However, I'll try to do only two things. <laughs> I'm also an author, so I always like to give analogy, Sanskrit shloka and describe. It may not be possible, maybe sometime later, if you give me a maiden speech of 15 minutes at least, I'll be able to do, sir, my expertise in my field. Yatra Narya Ramante Tatra Devataha, that's what our ancestors say, where women are respected, that is a place where gods reside. And I want to tell you the most important thing for women, women in general, is her health because she always neglects her health and takes care of the family. And because of that, many women suffer in real life with cervical cancers and they will come to the hospital only in the fourth stage or third stage. I'm being a daughter and a sister of a doctor. I'm aware of this and I've worked in my last 30 years with Infosys Foundation on this particular area and that I want to give a suggestion. There is a vaccination which is given to women, girls between the age of 9 to 14, known as the cervical vaccination, which can, if the girls, have, if the girls take that, it can be avoided. May I request that to the House that we should incorporate that vaccination for the benefit of our girls because prevention is better than cure. My father being a doctor always used to tell me when a woman dies, when a mother dies, in the hospital it's a count plus one. But for the family, a mother is lost forever. Maybe a man can get another wife but children will never get another mother. Mother plays an important role and cervical cancers are more in the later part of life. So I request that our government should look into this matter and they have handled a very big vaccination drive during COVID. So this may not be very difficult if you can vaccinate our girls in the teenage 9 to 14. This is my first Point who I who has to. developed the vaccine? This vaccination is developed in the West for a long time, sir. It is already given for the last 20 years. I tried one batch in my time, 10 years back, with government of Tamil Nadu, with K. Shanta, the director of the Mad Adiyar Cancer Institute. It worked very well. So, it is not expensive, I'm sure. Oh, you know, today is 1,400 rupees for person like us who are in the field. But if the government intervenes and negotiates, it can be, and it's a, any business is a win-win situation. He also should make certain money, but you can bring it to seven, eight hundred rupees. And we have such a long, large population, sir, it will be benefiting for our girls in future. Ashwini, you please convey it to the health minister, Raddaji. Yes, sir. The second point, which is very dear to my heart, is I'm going to talk. I may exceed one or two minutes, sir. Please, please, madam, yeah. no problem. That is regarding tourism in India. Sir, we always think only um, Ajanta, Ellora, uh, Bharadishwara and Taj Mahal are few things which everybody should see. That's really not true, sir. Our country is vast. And there is a very famous saying in, you know, in, in Subhashita that said, Bahuratnani Vasundhara. Mother Earth has many, many diamonds, and we always neglect and care only for one. Similarly, in India, we have 42 World Heritage Sites, but we have 57 pending. And 
people and we should bother about those 57 and some of them i want to tell because there is no time these are the very important sites i have gone personally and visited being a daughter a granddaughter of a school teacher and a history teacher for the last 60 years sir i've done a lot of research in our own culture our own temples monuments in india and whatever i have done in nutshell i want to give there's a marvelous statue of um, um, uh, tirthankara uh, not tirthankara bahubali at shravana belgola which is a gem it is in karnataka there are a group of monuments in mandu in madhya pradesh who are very very beautiful there are caves or the prototyping of any temple you take in india its prototyping is done in badami aihole pattathkallu in karnataka northern part of karnataka where i belong i'm very proud about it see lingaraja temple see any temple in india konark temple everything prototyping is done in 575 ad in karnataka these three places which are not in world heritage center you have if you go to east you have tripura state and they have fantastic sculptures known as unakoti nobody knows who has done they are 1500 years old then you have natural roots bridge in mizoram and the eastern part of india which is god's gift to us we go to other countries and we see but we never value because we have diamond in the hand we search for the broken glass pieces there are the complex of the temples in srirangam and people must have some of them must have seen from south india i'm sure northern and eastern part of india people might not have seen they are marvelous they are as good as Bhradeshwara temple of Tanjaur, which is a world heritage site. There are beautiful Mughal gardens in Kashmir. We always go and see the film shooting, but we never realize they are not in the world heritage sites. So the advantages of putting them on the world heritage site, number one, the package should be done very well so that people can come and see them. The package should be conveniently should be done so that you should have good toilets and good roads so that the tourists can come. It will increase our revenue in our own country. There are so many advantages are there that I will do in my maiden speech. We have beautiful desert garden run of Kutch and people only will see, can see only in a certain months of the year and we should take advantage of that. We have Buddha was the great person and we are very proud when whichever country I go, they ask me, are you from the land of Buddha, I always say yes. He preached his first sermon in Saranath, where very near to Varanasi, the group of old monuments at Saranath, which are 2,500 years old. It is not in the World Heritage Site. The Lothal of Gujarat is equivalent to Mohenjadaro Harappa of Pakistan. We can't go there, but we have Lothal and Dholavira. Dholavira is the World Heritage Site, but not Lothal. Lothal was a big port, and how, how the ship used to come, you should go and see. It should come in a World Heritage Site. We have Forts of Maharashtra, where Veer Shivaji, Bacha Bacha Bola Tha, that he said, Jai Mahadev in every fight. And they are the Jaladurga, Vanadurga, Normal Durga, the whole series where the forts face sea and also gave a great history to India and particular to Maharashtra, great Shivaji's place should come under World Heritage Site. There are beautiful, there's a beautiful island on the river Brahmaputra in Assam, Majol they call, maybe my spelling may be wrong, it is Majoli, Majoli. Sir, it is, if you would have seen in some other country, they would have made it as a number one destination for wedding or even for entertainment or you to go and enjoy. But 90% of the people are not even aware of this. There is a, we, when you see the old parliament, you say, oh, these people, Westerners have come and they have built this one. People from architect from India, in UK, they came and built it. Sir, it is nothing but if you see the prototyping of that thousand years back, built in Madhya Pradesh from Gwalior, 30 kilometer, it is called Mitavali. It's a Chausast Yogini temple. It's exactly the replica of that, but in a prototyping, sir. 
There is the Padavali and Metavali. There is one more set of temples which were saved because of on the Chambal River because of the decoids, but they are world-class temples. The list is unending, but I want to conclude with a famous, famous Gumbas of Karnataka, that is Gol Gumbas. It was ruled by the Adil Shahid in, in 1400 to 1685. And it's one of the marvelous things in India has produced where you can have the echo of seven times. My list is 57, but my time is limited. <laughs> so, I sir, I, I, this is an opportunity. As a like, young girl, I used to look at Rashtrapati Bhavan. I used to look at Raja Pasaba. I used to always feel lucky are those people who stay there, who go there, who can talk, who can express. I never knew one day will come to me in my life, I can stand and talk about what I believe in. I want to conclude with a shloka which our ancestors have taught us, or my grandfather has taught when I was young. Whatever work you do better, do it with your mind, with buddhi, and with 100% concentration. We are in a country where there is so much diverse culture, but still we are all one, like five fingers make a mushti. We all have that, that character, which is very much Indian character, that we may differ in dress, food, language, and but we are all one. I want to serve in my tenure, Rajya Sabha, with one single motto, Kaye na vacha, manasa indri yarva, buddhyatma java, prakriti sabhavat, karomi yadyat, Sakalam Namasri, Narayana Yeti Samarpayami. It is not my husband Narayan Murti. It is Narayana the God or the God whom you believe. It need not be Narayana, it could be anybody. So with a single minded, with my mind, with my buddhimatta, with my concentration, with my whatever is the age I have, I'm 74, going to be 74. But God willing, I will put my 100% in Rajya Sabha and work. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat Mata. Thank you, madam. You, you made very valuable suggestions, both the suggestions.